Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here um, for the sign of Virgo for November of 2018. Um, I am still offering the 12 free tarot card readings um, monthly, so therefore if you want a chance to enter to win a free reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment below on this video. Um, I scroll through the, vid the comments in order to pick the winner. The winners will be chosen by the end of the month. All right, guys, so let's get into this. I'm doing these things a little bit differently this month. Um, you know, I am a healer, so therefore, at the very end of the video, I'm putting in some healing, some energy healing, Reiki, um, to help with whatever the messages are coming through. These are general readings, so please, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate with you, check your moon and rising sign. Those might resonate with you um, better. All right, so the energy that I was getting here... Um, well, let's just start with this. The two of cups popped out. And when this popped out, I got the, the sense of making relationships stronger. Okay. Um, I'm getting a very firm message here that not everything has to be the way you think it does. Okay. Um, it's funny because in all my other readings, you know, cards are flying, flying, flying out. Your cards were not flying out. That's why I don't shuffle on these videos because it takes forever. But you know, your cards, nothing fell out. This was the only card that fell out was the two of cups. All right. Every other uh, for the tarot, the, these, these cards fell. Uh, nope. These were picked. This card fell out. Um, however, you know, for your tarot, there was no cards that fell out. It, it like, so I, I was feeling like everything is so tight in its place that nothing can move around you. Okay. What fun is life like that? right? What fun if everything has to be exactly how you think it does or exactly how you planned it to be? Where, where's the surprises? Where's the excitement? Where, where is all that stuff? Um, so that's what I'm getting for you guys for the month of November is this two of cups is being able to build relationships stronger by giving in and compromising and accepting and embracing the value and the um, opportunities and the uh, changes, I'm trying to think of the word, there's a word that I'm missing here, um, that other people can bring to you, right? So not everything has to go along to your plan. You can actually merge plans and then, um, you know, come together. The first week of November, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, You've got the moon card, you've got the page of wands, and you've got the tower. You know, so I do see, I feel like you're going to start to see some of your shadows. With the knight of pentacles and the moon here, I feel like something's being brought to you with like an opportunity to see, um, to, to bring some stuff to the surface is what I'm getting. Some shadows coming up. All right. Um, and again, some of them could be a lot of fear because, you know, when you want everything exactly how you want it, it's usually because you're scared or fearful of what's going to be if it's not like that. All right, and I feel like in the beginning of November, those, those things could be brought to the surface for you. All right, you might be starting to be aware of that or see that um, a lot of fear coming up. And there's going to be an opportunity here, like between the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands here, there's definitely something, you know, and then the tower next to it. I'm just going to say, like, it, there's definitely something that's going to shake you up in the beginning of November. I feel a lot of anger, a lot of rage. Um, I'm getting, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody might bring something out in you. All right. Might, might start to have you do things that are going to focus on your insecurities. And with that tower, I feel like things are going to start to crumble down and I'm feeling for some of you, it's going to be rock bottom. It's going to be like, I can't do this anymore. I can't live like this anymore. I, I need to change. Because the next, in the middle of the month, that's when everything starts to turn around. So um, 
in the beginning of, of November, I definitely feel you're going to start to sense things that are not right and things that are not built on, you know, the, the tower is about things coming crumbling down because they're built on faulty foundation, you know, thing, it's, it's not sturdy. So these could be marriages, these could be relationships, this could be work. However this resonates with you, you're going to start to see things that you're not going to be okay with. I feel like you're going to, it's like going to be like, wow, I never, never thought of it like that before. And I don't really like that. That type of um, energy is going to hit. And I feel as though there's going to be a little bit of chaos in the beginning of November for Virgos. Okay. Um, in the middle of the month, though, you got the five of wands. So I definitely feel resistance here. There's going to be resistance. You've got the sun right next to it. The sun is that healing card, right? Which we're going to be doing some healing. So stick with me on this. But that the sun is that healing card. This is turning your darkness into light. And it's funny because the sun was right underneath the moon. So your shadows are rising. We're going to heal them. You're going to bring that darkness. You know, light comes from darkness. You can't appreciate the light without the dark. So there's no reason to be fearful of the dark. There's no reason to be scared of your insecurities. There's no reason not to dig into them and bring them to the light. Okay. But there's definitely resistance with this five of wands. But we've got to break through that resistance and get into the healing part. Because when you do, you're going to start to change your perspective and you're going to start to just look forward. You're going to start to see the future rather than what's in your past. And when you can forget your past, but take the lessons that you've learned from your past and move forward, that's when life really opens up for you. And I can see that with these lights here. It's kind of opening up. It's, it's lighting your path. And then right next to that, which is beautiful, you've got the Nine of Cups. It's your wish card. Whatever you wish for, you have. You can, you can obtain, but you need to let go of the fear and the doubts and the insecurities that are here with you in order to move forward with love and light. Okay, um, That wish card, it's yours. It's yours for the taking. It's just that you've got to make the right decisions in order to get to it. Okay. Um, towards the end of the month here, you've got the high priestess, which is about using your intuition, right? It's about being able to manifest things. It's about knowing your true self, knowing what you want, um, and knowing that you're hiding, you're hiding, knowing that, you know, you have so much more to give, but you're you're hiding in the closet is what I'm getting for some of you. It's like you just, you're, you're scared of what's going to come if you bring everything to the table. Okay. Um, but right next to that, you've got the king of pentacles, the page of pentacles. There's so much abundance here waiting for you. Knowing that when you do bring everything to the table, when you finally open up, when you finally let all those insecurities come up and deal and heal, this is the energy that it brings is the King of Pentacles. Imagine being able to sit down and put your feet up and just know that everything around you is being, being taken care of. Whether it be from people around you that support you and love you, whether it be from, you know, coworkers that are helping you get through, you know, what you need to get through, whether it's the universe guiding you, your, your loved ones on the other side, like that's the energy you're striving for, but you can't get here when there's a lot of fear and there's a new opportunity coming for you of this abundance of this long-term investment in yourself, there's an offer being made to you at the end of November. You're going to start to see it clearer with the, with the high priestess here and the king of pentacles and the page Like you're going to, there's still going to be resistance, but it's a little bit less, right? From going from the five of wands to the seven of wands, it's a little bit less resistance is what I'm getting. You're not fighting lions here. You're actually riding a dragon that can help you now. 
and you are, you know, you've got wands being pointed at you, but you've got a shield now to protect yourself where you didn't have that here in the middle of November. You didn't have that. You're kind of just fighting with a wand and that's it. You got lions, you got people, you got wands all over the place. But now you're in control. You're on this dragon <clears throat> and, you know, you have the tools and the knowledge and to get through situations. Okay. Okay. So all through that, when you strengthen yourself, you strengthen your relationships. When you know what you want, you won't settle for less. Low vibrational people will drop off and you will start to attract where you're at. Okay. Um, this is fabulous. So the two cards that popped out over here is new love. So some of you have new love coming in and this says embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Well, this is all spiritual growth, all of this. But I say that you have new love coming in because the two of cups is about love. You got new love and you've got true love. So there's definitely love on the horizon for you guys. True love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. Okay? So, you know, you definitely have something coming in here with the Two of Cups, strengthening relationships. So if you're not in a relationship, there definitely could be potential, you know, a King of Pentacles, maybe an Earth sign coming in. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So, and you've got a lot of, you know, yeah, I would, I'd say maybe a pentacle, so maybe an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, but new love and true love. Now, if you are married or in a relationship, this is strengthening this love. You know, I think the new love is definitely spiritual growth for yourself. And, you know, I'm not saying to let anybody go here. It's not a message. This The message here is to let yourself be free, is what I'm feeling, okay? Is to let yourself be vulnerable, to let yourself feel. I'm getting a lot is from way back when, way back when. It's been, it's been buried for so, so long, so deep, deep that you don't, let it, you don't let nobody touch it. And it's time to start to dig it all up and let it out. You also have the Wolf Moon card. These are the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. And it says, I will watch over you. So let's see what this says for you guys this month. Um, so the only one that, well, Lucy, Lucy Cavendish is who I read from the book because I love her writings in here. So it's the number one card. So you got number one. It says about the wolf moon, a beautiful girl is seated beneath a perfect full moon, unable to sleep. She wraps her arms about the wolf, her companion. If you look closely, you'll see she has a tattoo of a wolf's footprint. She is one of the clan. She is different in form, though she is one of their own. The wolf is being held by the small girl. They are not the same, but they are kin, and one is changing, which requires courage and commitment and flourishes best when protected. The girl may be about to turn, change form, or she may be holding one who is about to change. You are always in the process of transformation, and when you have a guardian, you will be supported through your shifts in many, into many selves. The lunar aspect of this card is protective. The moon's fullness suggests a high tide of power, and this is traditionally the time of great change and metamorphosis. This is a time when the tender can cradle the fierce, and which your true wild self, instinctual knowledge, can be heard and acted upon. The energy of this card will also help you feel safe and strong when you sleep. Call on this being before sleeping or traveling, or when you feel you are about to journey into hostile or uncertain territory. She speaks, a clan brother or sister is watching over you while you change. So rest easy knowing how fiercely loved and loyally protected you are. While you change, you will be held and watched over by a guardian who will not let you down. You are in the moment of transformation. Your fears that others will not understand who you really are when you show yourself and that you will be left vulnerable are unfounded. Your greatest fear is that you may hurt others while you are changing so deeply. The next time the moon is within three days of being full, either side, call on me to come to you. Call on your kin to come to you. With energy and confidence, know you can find your people and parts of yourselves that have been near invisible, seemingly extinct. I will help you traverse the unseen, mysterious world, 
help you make sense of sensations you are having and clarify psychic messages that you may be flooded with. I will help you see through a dreamscape into clarity, keep danger at bay, and help you to change without causing harm to yourself or others. The message of this card, you may feel drawn to creating a symbol, getting a tattoo, experimenting with coal, or having a symbol worked into a talisman or protective piece of jewelry that will help you and protect you and support you. You have the guardianship of the wolf for now. It is safe to rest for a time. Your time to shelter your guardian family will come. The coming full moon is significant for you. You are changing and you, your true family will support you through this shift. This is a time of courage. When you approach this change with a brave heart, all will be well. And that's exactly true because towards the end of the month of November is when the full moon will be here. That's when that high priestess comes out. That's when that higher self comes out. Whew. Okay, so I think with the Reiki, we are going to work with the intention of letting things just be and not having to have something so set as what you think it needs to be in right, order there. in order to have it um, in your life. So hold on one second. Let me pull this out of here. Um, all right, so go ahead and we're just going to close our eyes. I'm just going to get my music ready. You're going to listen to some music. Paired. There we go. And um, only for a few minutes. And then we're going to put that intention of here of to be able to be okay with the unknown, be okay with accepting what others bring to the table, all right, and being happy within that. Not everything has to be our way. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes. We're going to listen to some music and then um, at the, let thoughts come in, let them flow out. And at the very end, I'm going to ask you to take another deep breath in. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. And let it out. And one more time. Take a deep breath in. And let it out.
ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. You can open your eyes. So one of the messages I was getting through that was the energy I was feeling is to stop being upset with the way that other people are because it's not matching what you need or what you want or what you think should be, okay? Um, when you can let that go and accept just people are the way that they are and then you get to pick and choose which ones are in your life, that's when things start to change around, okay? Um... So just because somebody else isn't living life the way that you do or that you choose to, it's your choice to have them in or around you. Okay, so just remember that. So don't, if there's people around you that are really draining your energy because you don't believe in what they're doing or how they're feeling or, you know, the decisions that they're making in their lives, like, you need to let those people go so that you can keep um, bringing your vibrations higher. All right. So just just realize that if you're if you just think about that, if you have resentment or anger towards people because they're not living the life that you want them to live, you need to let that go. You need to release that feeling. Let them live how they want. But then you you change your life. OK, uh, it's just the message I was getting for you guys through that. So I hope you enjoyed that healing, um, you know. If you want more healing, we have the membership group. The link is in below. If you want to win the free reading, just make sure you comment and subscribe to the video. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the energy, okay? Um, the energy healing. I'm trying to incorporate this so that you guys not only get the messages, but you also get some healing along with it. All right. Much love to you guys, and I will see you in December. Bye.